Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a pick a card reading. I'm going to try and make it a quick one but I'm just going to see how I get on with that and it's going to be the good news that's coming your way. So we've got three pals to choose from. We have ruby, turquoise and watermelon. So I'm just going to give you a second to tune in and pick which one you most resonate with. And as always, if you need more time, you can pause the video. Just remember that these readings are general and they won't resonate for everyone. And I'm going to start today with Ruby. So if you chose Ruby, what is the good news coming your way? Okay, so you have the strength card with the nine of swords. Okay, so I'm going to try and give you an example of what I mean with this one. So this feels like going from a period of time where you have perhaps been frozen in fear to courageous, bold, confident. Now, the reason why this is good news is because I feel like there's something you're going to want to take action towards. So there's an opportunity that becomes available to you. There's something that you'd like to try, something new perhaps you'd like to try. It came across like stage fright. So let's say you're a singer and you love to sing. It's your biggest passion and you're very good at it. But when it comes to singing in front of a crowd the stage fright takes over and prevents you from either going ahead with it or just enjoying the experience, which dampens it all for you and really limits on how much you can implement that in your life. So that's what's turning on its head because I feel like anything that you have been afraid of doing, of trying, of really jumping into, you're just going to do it. You might still feel a bit of fear, but the difference is, is that the fear is no longer going to stop you. You're going to go for it. And I feel like, I feel like you're more courageous and more strong than you give yourself credit for, or that other people give you credit for. I think you've got an inner strength that has been there the whole time. You've just not been pulling on it. It's not been coming out and allowing you to use it to your advantage. But I feel like you're going to get to grips with this. Particularly, and I'm going to say this to one of the other groups as well, particularly as we move into Sag, Sag season, which is in a couple of days, I think. So as we move into Sagittarius, that is very much what that energy holds. You know, it's action oriented. It's bold it's carefree to some extent. Things like energies like this, anxiety, stress, can fall away during Sag, Sag season. Now again, I'm not saying you won't feel any fear, but the difference will be that you it will no longer stop you or prevent you from enjoying experiences that you want to take action towards. So it says, take action when you feel desire, follow intuition, synchronicity, supported by the universe. So I think that it's almost like you, you had put something on ice for a very long time. And it doesn't have to be a hobby or something you enjoy. It could be a conversation that you've put on ice. But the point is, is that you haven't been acting on it. And it's probably because of this, because you were worried about the outcome, you were worried about the future of what might happen, worried about the unknown, and it's been getting in your way. It's your mind playing tricks on you. So because that's going to be changing soon, the courage that you feel is going to rise to the surface and it's going to allow you to move towards, to do whatever it is that you have been wanting to do this whole time. And by taking that action, you diminish the fear. 
you get rid of the anxiety because you're facing it. So this is going to be really good for you. And I think what this, what's going to come from this, aside from, you know, pride and, you know, joy, is going to be relief. Relief from this. Because you will have taken that action. You will have done what you feel like you needed to do. And I don't know why it keeps coming through like this, but I'm hearing like, make some noise. So I feel like you've stay, either stayed quiet about something. So again, could be a conversation that you need to have with someone that you haven't been acting on. Or it could be staying quiet on something that you're good at, on something that you love to do, on an idea that you have. It feels like with make some noise, it's, it's saying, you know, tell people, show people, make some noise, make people aware. It could be something you believe in. It could be something that you think. It could be an opinion that you have. But I feel like you you need to bring that to the surface and you're going to get that opportunity. And anything that's been preventing you from doing that is moving aside. It's moving out of the way and your strength will make itself known. And it's going to feel really good to you because you will feel a freedom that I don't think you felt for a very long time with your voice, with your actions. And like I said, it's going to be, I think it's going to be fun for you. I think it's going to be, it's going to be surprising to you what you're capable of and possibly surprising to other people. Okay, so I am going to leave that one there and I'm going to move on to pile number two. Thanks for watching. Hi, pile number two. So this is for those of you that chose turquoise. So if you chose turquoise, this is your reading. So what good news or good themes are coming your way? So <clears throat> you do have the four of cups with the eight of wands. <laughs> okay, so this feels to me it's like a situation where you've been daydreaming about something for a very long time, you've been visualizing something for a very long time, trying to manifest something for a very long time, and you haven't seen results, or you felt like it's been stagnant, or none of your efforts have really worked or made a difference, which could have become very disheartening for you like this four of cups, you know, it's almost like, I feel like I'm trying and nothing's changing, nothing's working and I don't know what else to do. And in some ways it may have depleted your energy. That is what's changing. <laughs> so you know how sometimes people say that, you know, it all comes at once. It feels like that to me. There could have been multiple things that you have been trying to create in your life that you don't feel like you've been successful with. And then out of nowhere, it all seems to appear. It all seems to happen. It all seems to manifest. It's almost like a blockage has been removed and every, everything that you have been wanting to see happen and wanting to create for yourself enters your life. It knocks on your door. For some of you, that's literal as well, that you could literally have a person knock on your door and that is that is the good news because it's what you wanted. Could be a delivery, you know, could be a person you've been wanting to talk to or see, but it feels like something's entering your vicinity that you have been trying to make happen. Now, there is a bit of a heads up about this. The reason why you're getting a heads up about this is because you need to be ready for it. Because I think that what's happened here is that you have been visualizing and trying to create things for a very long time. And because it hasn't been happening, like I said, you may feel a little bit disappointed and like it's never gonna happen. You know, it might have, you might have been struggling to hold on to hope about it. So when it appears, you might not even recognize it for what it is. You might not see it, you might not notice it at first. And this is why you're getting the heads up because they want you to be ready for that. 
And it's also one of them situations where we wish for something for a very long time, it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, then it happens and the fear can kick in, the nerves can kick in because all of a sudden it's here, it's on the other side of the glass, it wants to get to us, but now we have something to lose, now we have something that we we can mess up, that we can we can ruin to some degree and sometimes the fear of that can prevent us from welcoming it in and there is advice here to not let the fear block your opportunity or block whatever this is that's coming in for you I, I think it'll be different for everyone but with this magic of pretending it's almost I don't think this is what you need to do I don't think this is what you know, obviously you, you should still do this because it's beneficial to you and your life and what you're trying to create. However, I feel like it's more because you've done this, this is coming in. You know, because you've been pretending, because you've been faking it until you make it, because you've been visualising, it comes in. So this is almost showing up as if to say, you see, this does work. It might take some time, it might not happen when you would like it to happen or in the, at the pace that you would like it to happen, but it does work. It does make a difference. So it's almost like it, it's telling you to not give up on some of the practices that you have to create and manifest the life that you want because it makes a difference. It does work. It helps you. So, you know, it also makes me think of you know, in films when they go and action, you know, it's almost like you've had, you've been prepping, you've been waiting and now it's time to go. Now it's time to enjoy this. Now it's time to, you know, enjoy what's coming in and allow yourself that experience. So I think because you've you visualize so much and you've become so clear on what it is that you want, even if it's taken a really long time to get there, all of this has made a difference. And I think you're going to be a little bit surprised on how much comes in and it perhaps when it happens. But I feel like it's finding you after a really long time of not finding you. So this could, you know, again, this can be any area of your life because I think all of you will want different things for yourselves. But whatever it is that you have been actively trying to create in your life that hasn't happened, that's disappointed you, that's what's coming. That's what's happening. That's what's changing for you. You just need to be able to see that when it arrives because it may not always, it doesn't always come in the package that you expect you know, and that's when we have to keep our eyes open. But you have a lot to be excited about and whatever disappointments you've had over your efforts not being recognised or the feeling of your efforts not being enough or not making a difference, that's not going to be true for much longer. <laughs> Which is why I think it's going to be a bit of a surprise for you. You know, the pretending worked, the faking it till you make it worked. It just wasn't made obvious to you until now okay so i'm gonna leave that one there guys and i am gonna move on to the final pile thank you for watching bye hi pile three and welcome to your reading so this is for those of you that chose watermelon so if you chose watermelon what good news or good themes are coming your way okay so this heavily links to Sagittarius season. So this is going to be a big big season for you, I feel, where you're going you're going to notice a positive shift. And to me, it came across as a countdown. So I'm going to explain what I mean, but we've got the ace of wands with the knight of wands. So a lot of fiery energy, a lot of action-oriented energy. I feel like with watermelon as well, you know, it does say at the bottom, have fun with your inner child. This, you know, it is, it's very, it's very close to me to Sag energy. So I feel like that's going to be relevant to you. And it's going to be something that you, you're going to feel 
throughout this next month you're going to feel that energy and it's going to be helping you because when I say that there's a countdown you've got barrier here so I feel like this is where you have been this is not what's coming this is where you have been you've been stuck behind this door the door's been locked you haven't been able to get through and you've wanted to get through to the other side but you haven't been allowed to so you've been limited but it's been like a purposeful blockage, I feel. So you've been prepping on this side of the door. As we enter Sag season, which is in, in a couple of days, you're going to notice this door open. So at the minute, the countdown's already happening because it's almost like three, two, one, door opens, you're off. So I feel like it's going to be perhaps quite a busy time for you. But I think if you have any ideas, any goals, any desires or ambitions, this is going to be the time to act upon it. You're going to know when it is time because this door is going to open. And this door can represent your own limitations, removing themselves. You know, if you've been telling yourself, I can't do this, um, I'm, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't be good at that your mindset on things like that are going to change. Your perspective on what you are capable of is going to change, which is going to allow you to go after whatever it is that you want. Likewise, if you have been busy with obligations or responsibilities and you haven't been able to act on what it is that you want, some of those obligations and responsibilities are going to be taken care of for you so that you can go after this so that you can take action I feel like I feel like if there is a situation where you're in competition because I'm looking at this trophy so there could be a bit of a competition going on whether that's a competition for a job or a competition with yourself you're going to win that competition the trophy is there so I feel like you have everything that it takes and everything that you need in order to win this trophy, in order to get what it is that you want. I think as long as you remain positive within your visualizations, what you picture happening, as long as you remain positive, there is no reason why you can't make this happen, why you can't win this because I do feel like you are, you're going to be in the process of achieving something this month. And if you take this bold approach, this courageous approach, you'll get it. You will. And that's going to be your good news. You just have to remove this blockage. Now, this blockage could have been put there out of your control, in which case it will remove itself at the right time and you won't have to do anything. If this blockage has been put there by you because you've been telling yourself you can't do something or that you're incapable or that you're not good enough, anything like that, any limiting beliefs, you will have to remove them yourself by changing your mindset. But I think it will come very naturally. This isn't advice today. This is good things coming. So this is a shift regardless. So if it's a shift in mindset you need, you're going to get it so that you can achieve this goal, so that you can win this trophy. You know, it is a bit like a race. It's coming across as a bit like a race because with the countdown, the three, two, one, go, you know, <laughs> it feels a bit like a race. So I'm wondering if you are going after something that other people are also going after. And so there's a bit of a competition there. Um... But I feel like you have a very good chance at winning this if you approach it in the right way, which is just requiring you to have a positive mindset and an optimistic outlook and a belief in yourself, which I'm saying it very easily, but these things are actually very difficult to maintain. But because of the energy that you're going to be embodying I don't think you're going to have a hard time with this. I think it's actually going to come quite naturally to you. And it's going to be because of the help of the season that we're in. The Sag energy is really going to be working with you this month. And I'm losing my voice already. 
but it's really going to be helping you because Sagittarians, they are optimistic by nature. They are spontaneous by nature. They are action oriented by nature. So all of that, you're going to be embodying yourself. And I think as well, there is one last message here of reminding yourself to enjoy the experience. Again, I don't think this is something you need to hear necessarily because I think it will happen quite naturally because of the energy that you're in. I think that's part of the good news that you will be enjoying the process. You'll be enjoying the competition. You'll be enjoying the race. You'll be enjoying, you know, the 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 winning of that trophy it's it's almost going to put you in quite a childlike energy i feel that's going to be really good for you because things might have been quite serious for you for quite a bit of time and you need a bit of light-hearted and i think you're going to get it you're going to be embodying that which is also going to help you attract more of it from your external environment So you're going to be unblocked to what it is that you desire this month and you are going to have a good chance at winning a trophy. You're going to have, not literally, well maybe for some of you literally, but more metaphorically, you're going to have a good shot at winning the race. You're going to have a good shot at implementing your idea and making it a reality. And you're definitely going to be having fun. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to leave it on there, guys, but it was really nice talking to you, and I will speak to you all again soon. Bye.